Hi everyone, long time no see. Um, I finally received a box. <laughs> so I'm going to do an unboxing here for you today. Um, and I, I actually have received a few items. Um, not from Ride Stuff, but from like Box Lunch and Hot Topic. And they have been anime things. But I wasn't sure if I should open them. Like, for you guys. Like, I wasn't sure if it was something you'd want to see. You know? But, um, yeah. So I did order a few things that I got. Um, they're going to arrive soon. So I'll do a separate unboxing for them. I decided to just so that there's something, you know, going on. And this is finally a Ride Stuff unboxing. It's a pretty big box. Eek. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big. The box is kind of fucked up, but it's not as messed up as that one box I got last time. So I'm counting my lucky stars. <laughs> So yeah, here we go. Now this, I think there are some pre-orders, but the, this is from the sale back in, uh, I'm going to say back in, oh god, I don't even know, um, in August? When, when, when was the Rice Stuff birthday sale? Well, whenever that was. This is from then. <laughs> this out all right so oh, you know what this is just a really big box so I just okay well, I'm just gonna first few from up top then so the first thing I have here set that to the side is uh dear no wait okay yeah so <laughs> I'm gonna I got confused for a second so this is Canis uh, dear Mr. Rain, uh, this is actually from Kuma, which is the new um, Yaoi imprint of uh, what is it called? Faku, you know, that hentai place. I <laughs> have the hentai place, so yeah, that's the new brand, Kuma. And yeah, this is their uh, maybe fourth, fifth title. Yes, finally, there is Mr. Uh, Canis Mr. Rain, I think it's called, right? Is that, is that what it just said? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I've got... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, so I don't know if you guys had heard. Shit. That's all I can fucking say. Okay, well, it's here now. So, I don't know if you guys had heard, but Sublime made uh, a post uh, in the address that there was a misprint of Therapy Game. And I'm kind of fuck <laughs> because I called right stuff three times about delaying this and making sure it was off of my order. And they assured me on my last call that they had received the, um, what do you call that? When the recall on all of their manga on this specific manga, cause it is a misprint and that they were going to send everything back, that they had taken it out of my order, and the fact that it's here means that it is a misprint. This isn't the cur This isn't right. So now I have to pay for fucking shipping to go back. Unless I order it from Amazon and I at least return it from there. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways now to get a good copy because this is, this is a bad copy. And they lied to me, so wonderful. Yeah, because yeah, I, I called and they reassured me that every book from every order that was pending and not yet shipped had been taken out and sent back. And clearly this was not so a bad copy. But there it is. Therapy Game Volume 2. Can't do anything about it now. It's here. So there. Okay. And moving on. Oh, this is complete now. Oh yay! Okay, so this is the last volume of the Demon Prince, the Demon, sorry, Demon Prince of Momochi House, and this should actually be all of them. So, cause I ordered the, this is the one that from from the um, birthday sale, I ordered like all of them. <laughs> so it should be. I already received one through six, so this should be the rest. Let me see if I can find them all. Now the reason why I got it. Aside from it just being freaking beautiful art, 
um, is because this author, she used to do yaoi, and I really loved her art style. So I kind of was like, I'm going to support her no matter what she does, you know? And I hadn't really come across a, a series that I liked. Because she, she only does shoujo now. Which isn't bad. I don't necessarily dislike shoujo. It's just that, well, I guess it's just not my thing, really. Yeah, I just, maybe that. I just don't collect shoujo anymore. I, I mean, you've seen, I do have my odd titles here and there. But in general, I just don't collect anything that's not yaoi much anymore. But, um, specifically major shoujo like this. Like, I collect cutesy little jose, which is kind of slashy, but not really. And then, obviously, shonen eye and stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, so... Oh, I don't even know what this is. Okay. So, this should be the last of them. See, seven, eight, nine, where's ten? There it is. And I, again, I freaking love the art, though. I've always loved her art, and she's gotten, like most mangaka, right? She's gotten so, her art's gotten more beautiful. Not better, because her art was good as it was. But it's just, it's become so much more beautiful than what I remember um, from when she did her yaoi titles. But uh, I'm just so happy. <laughs> so, yes, volume 7. Oh, and it does have the art, the color... The front color pages. They're so pretty. Oh my god. <sighs> yes. Okay. So. Oh. So I'll do this actually. So it can be in order. Eight. Nine. Oh god. I love him. He's beautiful. Yes. Isn't this beautiful you guys? Oh god. It's so pretty. Now, I don't see any damages on them. Which I am really happy about. Oh. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I couldn't, this, I mean, every time I saw it on, like, the front page, new releases, I was always, oh, my God. I think there's another series by her. I don't know if it's complete. I, think, I, I made sure I got this because it's complete, and it's not that bit, like, that long. It's only a 16 volume, so it wasn't bad. Oh, God, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy. Like, I don't really, yeah. Oh, God. Like, I obviously he ends up with her, obviously. It, it is a... Like I said, it's a shoujo, but oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy to finally have this collection out complete. And yeah, I'm going to start reading it very soon, probably tomorrow actually. Because um, I have been reading uh, novels, light novels that is. I've been reading, um, what's that one called? Oh my god, I forgot the name. I just, I was just reading it. Um, oh god, what is it called in English? I'm trying to think of... The Mah Mahoka, uh, what is it called? Oh, the Irregular at Magic High School. That's the one with, um, about, you know, those, I don't know if you watched it. It is on Crunchyroll, and I think it's also on Funimation Now, I think it's called, or Funimation, whatever, Funimation Plus, Premium, whatever. Um, you know, about magicians, whatever. Um, extremely OP characters. <laughs> But yeah, so I've been reading the light, light novels. I've I've gotten digital. I've gotten them digitally. I decided not to get them physically, just because I don't have much room on my shelves, and I prefer my shelves to be for other type of books, like my Final Fantasy ones, and then for I mean, even though it is like a ma, I mean like a manga based anime type. You know what I mean? Like it's different. But, I don't know, I just decided not to get it physically. I might change my mind later. Who knows, once, once, oh, because it just ended. So all 30, it's going to be 32 volumes. Probably more technically 30, it says 32, 35 maybe, because they've already said that there's going to be a mini sequel that's going to be about Tatsuya and Mizuki. No, Miyuki, Miyuki, not Mizuki, Miyuki. Um after high school so i'm waiting for that but i mean we're barely on volume 15 right now in the english releases there's so much left to go again there's 32 no 30 yeah 32 volumes of the main story 
and then it, it looks it was it was just announced so it looks like it's going to be two extra possibly three or four extra mini side novels of their you know future after that he uh the artist uh, I'm sorry, author just started writing it so who knows but yeah so that's what i've been reading so i've been kind of distracted because i'm also i've also been reading a lot of chinese novels i've been reading um or i started reading actually uh what's it called uh, oh my god, my, I don't remember the Chinese name. I think the English one, the English title is uh, Heaven's Official Blessings. I think it's, that's what it's called, right? I think that's what it's called. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been reading lots of novels. And on top of that, I read my regular gay novels, you know. So it's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of reading. So, um, But I really want to get around to this now because it's complete and I want to get to it. So, yeah, finally completed beautiful art i mean i really suggest y'all get this because it is absolutely like if you're if you like shoujo in general and you just like collecting cute titles suspenseful but cute titles do check this one out it is adorable i love it now i say I, i'm going to start reading it but i read until volume five originally like a long time ago when the scanlation started she, and I loved it, but it's been so long that I, I stopped and I was just waiting for it to complete because, you know, most of these continue on forever. So I wasn't sure how long it was going to be until the end. So I waited and now, well, it's here and I just decided to buy them. So that's why I'm like, oh, I'm going to start rereading them because I don't really remember much what happened, just that I really liked it. So, okay, moving on. Um, the next one that I have to show you. Wow, this is thick. Oh, she thick okay so uh, it's a uh, koi monogatari uh, love stories volume two i have the first volume but this bitch is thick Ooh, so this is a regular volume manga and this is her Ooh, i love it so this is i think it's just a bunch of one shots right i'm not absolutely certain i haven't read any of them yet but let me see, let me see. I don't want to spoil everything. So let me see. Oh my god, yes. It has a a color art insert. Oh yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even though it's like paper, it's not gloss. Like it's not like um uh, laminated type. It's still really nice. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, I don't have to show you this because this was beautiful. Hold on. Let me find it again. Wait, no, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. Never mind. Okay, I don't want to completely spoil everything, but look at that art. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. It reminds me of um, Given a Little. Not that it's in that type of story or whatever, but the art is beautiful. You can't, You can't not get it, so... I don't know how long this series is, like I don't know if it's, I actually didn't <laughs> bother looking if it's ongoing or whatnot, but I got it and I'm so happy that I did. Oh yeah, and this is Tokyo Pop, I didn't even say these, yeah, this is Shoujo Beat obviously though, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, <laughs> Shoujo Beat, Viz, you know, Tokyo Pop, and I'm kind of getting a little bit scared because this is exactly what happened last time at Tokyo Pop, they need to cool it. Because, um, they were, like, when they went bust the first time, this is kind of their, um, pattern, I guess? They just license and license and license and did one after the other after the other. And it kind of got out of control where they just had all of these ongoing titles and there was, like, no end in sight, you know. And on top of, you know, just... Bar uh, borders going bankrupt and just a bunch of other little things that happened. The economy went broke too, you know, at the time. It was just a bunch of things, but it didn't help that they had all of this shit under them. And it was just there and there and growing and growing and growing with no actual end in sight, you know. And I I don't think, I don't think it helped them. And they're kind of, I love them for getting Yaoi again, especially so quickly. Straight off the bat, they got Yaoi. And for Yuri fans, they have Yuri, you know, but I'm kind of getting worried that they're going right back to where they were before 
because on ride stuff you just see Tokyo Pop, Tokyo Pop Volume One ongoing series. You know, like I check it out, right? Like I look on uh, manga updates and it's ongoing series, ongoing series, nowhere near complete. You know, and not that they should always get completed series. But in a way, it's also like you shouldn't always get ongoing series because you don't know how far they're going to go and where you're going to drop it, you know? But anyways, so I'm getting a little worried, but I'm just so happy. I'm trying to get all the yaoi I can. I just hope it's not another Junja Romantica because that was them as well, remember? They're under their blue imprint, which was their yaoi solo imprint. Now they're just releasing everything all together. Although it does supposedly... It's not on here though, but so... Supposedly, this is like a part of their Love Love collection, which is everything, love is love, you know, so all yaoi, all, any LGBTQ uh, titles that they have, they're releasing it under Love Love, even though it's still under Tokyo Pop, the parent company, it is like their imprint, I guess, I don't know if it has it on the cover, like inside, I don't think so, to show you, no, I don't think so. Ooh, yes, I have a... Oh, so see, this one by, um, Kelly Solano. Um, they were, they, like, Tokyo Pop, again, was releasing Monochrome Factor, if you remember that from way long ago. <laughs> and this is Kelly Solano's, um, new series. And I want to get it. Like, you have no idea. I want to get it so bad, because I love the art. I love the art so, this, this artist, or mangaka's art so much. But it is an ongoing series, and like I said, I don't know what direction Tokyo Pop is going. <laughs> you know, like, things aren't that great right now, so. Sorry for rambling on, but that's just where I'm at in collecting Tokyo Pop titles. I buy the yaoi because I don't want to miss it, but at the same time, I'm very worried about it. Okay, so next is Case Heaven Volume 3. And I love this one. This one's about... Oh yeah, should I spoil it? Well, it's not really a spoiler, I guess. Well, kind of it is. Actually, I won't say anything. <laughs> but yes, this is such... Like... How do I even describe it? It's a... It's pretty fucked up, I suppose. <laughs> but it's a good series. I like it. It's very it's just smut to be honest. Well, no, it's not. It has it has an interesting story. It, ha it does. But it's basically just smut. <laughs> and I love it. I don't care. Oh, this is interesting. They gave um like playing cards now. I don't know. It was a little extra that came in this packaging. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I didn't know a couple of you up had a card game, but I guess they do. And then I don't know if any of you have watched Be the Beginning, but it's on it's a Netflix uh, licensed series. I freaking love this series. Well, I didn't love it. I really liked it. <laughs> I'm anxious for the sequel. It was by Production IG. I'm anxious for the sequel. I don't know if there is gonna be one. I mean, it's been a long time, and anime does take forever to produce, obviously. But I don't know. I feel like it's stalled now like it's not gonna happen I don't know but yeah so I'm waiting for that um there's not much to say I guess just check it out because it's a pretty trippy anime but it's it's a good it's a good kind of trippy the main character is obviously that beautiful ang uh, angel winged boy um it is voiced by Kaji Yuki um yeah and so it is the ultimate collection i don't think i'm gonna get that to be honest because it's just like i do want the artwork but i'm actually pretty happy with just this that i got free <laughs> so whatever and then the last thing i got oh, actually i'm gonna open that other one that i got but for as far as this goes it's a uh, gentle nobleman's vacation recommendation it is an ongoing series which i know i just this is exactly what i'm saying right but it's so cute i read i was reading the scanlations um before it was licensed and then I realized it was licensed and I was like oh shit so <laughs> I decided to get it it is um I mean it's not it's not yaoi it's not it's shoujo no is that what you call it jose sorry it's jose very slash beautiful art mm -hmm. 
You can see who I ship. Oh crap. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You can check out the skin. No, I shouldn't be advertising that actually. Forget forget I was saying that. Um, I mean just check it out. <laughs> it's really cute. It's actually based on a light novel series, but sadly I can't find any more info on this other than that it is a, a light novel series but i don't know if it's ongoing how many volumes it is if it is if it's still actually only a web novel i don't know um it's not on manga update only the manga itself is actually archived anywhere so i'm very unsure of the future of this title but I am really liking it, and it's just a really cute adventure story. It's not really isekai, even though it is, but it's also not, because he already existed in a fantasy world when he was pulled into this parallel universe. But he already existed in a fantasy world, and he was just pulled into this one. So it's not really isekai, even though he is in an alter alter alternate world, but again, he already existed in the in a fantasy world and then he was pulled to this one so I don't know do you consider that isekai I don't but yeah um yeah it's just it sounded really cute the art is really nice like I really love the art let me see a good picture well, let me see a, get a good picture of Gil because he is hot <laughs> um but yeah, I think it's only two volumes, no, three volumes right now, uh, in Japan. So hopefully we get that third volume soon. And I don't know how long it's going to go. I hope it's only going to be maybe ten volumes. Um, but I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to find a good picture that I really liked of... Well, this is good enough, I suppose. Some of the characters, so... See, the art's really nice. I love it. And yeah, the story's really intriguing. It's really cute. And yeah, that's that's the last of it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so, Case Haven Volume 3, the first volume of A Gentle Nobleman's Vacation Recommendation. Um, love Stories, Volume 2, She a Thick Girl, Do Get It. And then finally, my completed series of The Demon Prince of Momochi House. Ugh, my bad copy of Therapy Game. I'm so disappointed, you guys. They lied to me. They lied to me. But there it is. And then, um, Canis, what is it called again? I keep like, forgetting the name. Can, uh, Dear Mr. Ring. <laughs> just, just go with Dear Mr. Ring. Canis Dear Mr. Ring. So yeah, and it's, it's, it's actually like a really hefty book. Like they print it on quality paper. It is nice. So, <laughs> if you get it, you're not going to be disappointed. I do have their other Yaoi titles. But, I mean, I already showed them to you. Uh, but I haven't opened them, so I don't know. But I, since they are, uh, you know, um, prioritized hentai company, I imagine they're very steamy. Now, one sec. I'm going to get the other packages that I got. <laughs> okay, so this is the one from uh, Hot Topic. I'm just going to open it. It's, it is, like I said, it is anime related, but it's, I, it's not, I wasn't sure if I should even bother. Oopsie, I got them. It's the box, it's okay. But yeah, I wasn't, I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll do it. But anyways, I really wanted this backpack, and it was on sale, so I was like, yes, I jumped on it. Um, I basically got it for free. It is a Tokyo Ghoul backpack. And it is, like, this is a nice faux leather material. It is so cool. And then the zipper is actually the teeth. Oh, God, it's so cool. So, yeah, and it's actually, it's really nice. It has that, like, breathable back thing. And, yeah, so this is what I got <laughs> from Hot Topic. And then the other one I got, okay. So the other thing I got was this. He is a beauty. It is a backpack of a mobile suit of a Gundam. Um, yeah, it's from, Hot, it's from sorry, not Hot Topic. It's from Box Lunch, 
And I'm not going to open it because it is... Ugh, it's white and he's too beautiful to be opened right now. I'm not going to use him anytime soon. He's just too precious. But you can see kind of... You know what? Let me see if I can just show you. Alright, found it. So, it is this bad boy... I, it's, it actually, I actually didn't get it at that price. I got it way, way cheaper. But it is this guy. Come on, go over. Okay, this is not... Okay, whatever. You see it. <laughs> you saw it. So, yeah, it's that one. Um, but it says it's a mini backpack. There is nothing mini about this. He's huge. He's as big as... This is Kaneki. He's as big as Kaneki. So, it's, there's nothing mini about this backpack. It's a pretty big backpack. It feels like great material. It's like the, also that faux leather. Yeah, this is, this is pretty fucking fantastic. I am so happy I decided to get it. And I wasn't going to, but then I got the box lunch box. Or what is it called? Lunch money cash thing? You know, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, and so, yeah, I decided to use it. I jumped on it and... I finally have a Gundam related thing, you guys. Oh. Now, I love my Gundam anime. My favorite ones being Gundam Wing. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like people didn't really like it, but Gundam Seed is my second favorite Gundam anime. I just love it. Um, I haven't completely... Well, because see, I didn't finish watching Gundam um, Double O. The Gundam Zero Zero, I don't know what you call it, whatever. Um, the one with Set Setsuna. Just because, I don't know, at the time that it came out, I couldn't get into it. And I recently started watching it, and I'm very into it, and I, into it now. But it doesn't pull me in like Gundam Wing does every time I rewatch it, and Gundam Seed. So, yeah, it is up there my favorites, but followed closely by that is all the other mecha anime I watched, you know, like Gurren Lagann, and there's just too many to name. I can't actually name them in order. But my top favorites are definitely Gundam Wing and Gundam Seed. And yeah, so I just, I, I have a small miniature figure that I don't know what happened to it. It's probably in my storage. I'm pretty sure I still have it somewhere. <laughs> but I, that's the only thing I had that was Gundam related. And I've always wanted to get something else. But you know, those things are so expensive most of the time. So I've always avoided getting anything else so then when i saw this i was like oh my god it's a backpack i love getting purses and backpacks and any type of bag even uh just like um what's it called like the recyclable bag or what do, what do you call them uh just like a canvas bag i love getting all those types of things you know and and i was waiting for something and finally this appeared and he is beautiful so yeah I got him. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for today. Um, thanks again for watching. Like I said, I do have a few more things. They're, not, they're anime related, but they're not from Right Stuff. But I think I'll still show you, I guess. Just so there's something here. Um, I moved everything else to the side. But yeah, so definitely check out this one. And check out um, Demon Prince of Mochi House because it has beautiful art. Anyways... Once again, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!